you ever just like wake up pissed off? Like before you even open your eyes, your soul is just like, nah, I'm already done with this day. I swear, everyone is angry these days. And honestly, I get it. I dropped out of college, but apparently I didn't drop out of the existential crisis that came with it. First of all, the world's going to shit in a handbasket, literally. I'm tired of it. The fake bullshit is driving me nuts. You can't even escape it by scrolling through Instagram because instead of cute dog pics, you're bombarded with the planet has seven years left. Good luck. Like, damn, I was just trying to see who's engaged, not think about drowning in a melted glacier. And don't even get me started on the economy. Bro, I can't afford to be happy. You ever try to budget for happiness? Like, I'm out here with a spreadsheet. All right, rent, groceries, crippling student loans. Mm, yeah, I'll just skip the therapy and go scream into a pillow. Cheaper. But everyone is mad, man. Like, the boomers are mad because we're killing the napkin industry. Gen X is mad because we gave up on the whole work-life balance myth they sold us. Millennials are mad because their avocado toast fund won't buy them a house. And Gen Z were mad because, well, the Wi-Fi keeps going out. And honestly, that's enough to send anyone into a spiral. Also, like... What happened to quiet quitting? Weren't we supposed to be all zen with those just coast through life vibes? Instead, I'm having anxiety attacks over emails. Emails, dude. I check my inbox like it's a horror movie. I open it and I'm like, please don't jump scare me with another bill, please. Everyone's simmering in low key rage because deep down we all know it. We know the big secret no one talks about. It's all a scam. Life, capitalism, the American dream, whatever this is. We're the sucker generation, man. Our parents had jobs right out of high school, houses at 25, and we've got a deep side hit participation trophies and emotional baggage. You ever hear someone say self-care and just want to punch a hole in the wall? Like, oh, cool, I'll just manifest a better life while I can't afford health insurance. Thanks for that tip. That'll really help me out while the world crumbles around me. Nah, bro. Everyone's mad because we were handed a dumpster fire and told to make s'mores. And guess what? There's no fucking marshmallows left. You know what? What's wild? We're all mad, but no one knows what we're actually mad at anymore. It's like being in a traffic jam where everyone's honking, but no one's moving. We're all just collectively losing it for no clear reason. Like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong either, but I'm going to scream into the void until someone figures it out. And don't even act like social media didn't have a hand in this. Everyone's fake happy online, right? Oh, look at my perfectly curated life while I frolic through a sunflower field. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in my car outside the drive through contemplating if I have the emotional strength to survive another day on this floating rock. Sunflower fields, bro. I can't even get out of bed before noon without feeling like a disappointment to my ancestors. And you ever notice how everything is a red flag now? Like, we've become professional flag collectors. At this point, dating is just, oh, you breathe weird? Red flag. You like pineapple on pizza? Immediate red flag. You have a Spotify playlist called Vibe Check, but it's just Nickelback? Nah, get out of here, you psychopath. It's not even just dating. Friendships, jobs, strangers on the street, everyone's just waiting for the next red flag to cancel you in real life. I've started watching my own behavior like, oh no, did I just accidentally gaslight my cat? Am I toxic now? Like, I get why everyone's angry. We were raised thinking, okay, follow your dreams. But no one mentioned the fine print that said, unless your dream is something dumb like happiness, financial stability, or basic human rights. Nah, man, you better dream about getting just enough hours at your soul-crushing retail job so you can afford the three streaming services that make you forget how much life sucks for like five minutes. And don't you love how the solution to all this rage is always just work on yourself? Like, okay, Becky, let me just self-care my way out of generational trauma and a broken economy. Take a bath. Oh, you think my student loans will vanish if I light some candles and chant positive affirmations while sitting in a lukewarm tub? Girl, please, I can't afford lush bombs, let alone inner peace. And now we've all got this burnout we didn't ask for. They say, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But honestly, that's a lie. Do what you love and you'll just turn it into another form of capitalism that makes you question why you loved it in the first place. You think I'd be this bitter if I wasn't trying to monetize my hobbies to afford groceries? We're all out here just mad and tired but mostly mad. Everyone's either on edge or about to be. People are flipping out in grocery stores like, I didn't ask for paper bags, you fascist. And you know what? I get it. It's like we've all been collectively holding it in for years, and now someone could say, 
it's a beautiful day and we'd lose our minds like oh really janet a beautiful day the air smells like burning plastic but go off i guess i think that's why dark humor is kind of the only thing we have left like if we're gonna burn we might as well roast marshmallows over the flames right oh wait i forgot we established earlier there's no marshmallows left so what's the moral here there isn't one we're all just stuck in this rage cycle flipping tables and sipping iced coffee like it's fine. But hey, at least we've got memes, right? I just had to let this one out. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Subscribe if you're tired of this shit too.